what's up guys how are you doing i hope you're great so today i'm going to cover sampling in quantum gis i'm going to cover two categories of sampling that is random sampling and then it is magic sampling So I have done some processing on a lens at 8 image to generate NDVI. As you can see, this is NDVI of my study area. So I want to do some sampling of the NDVI values and then be able to do some statistical analysis. First of all, I'm going to do random sampling. To do random sampling, you come to vector and then research tools and then you select this one random points in extent and then you click on it when you click on it you will select here select the extent on what on the canvas i'm just going to draw it here let me just draw this extent here yeah and then the number of random points let me select 65 depending on the number you need and then the minimum distance between the points let me say one meter yeah so you can change the target coordinate system and then you can either save it to your local file or you can save it to memory for today i'm going to save it in memory and then you run after running you've created 65 random points in your study area actually let me open this attribute table and you see we only have one column which is the id and then yeah these are my points so these are random points that have been created so to be able to sample my raster values i come to this processing toolbox and then i search sampling search sampling actually you see this this is sample raster values yeah i click on this when i click on this it will prompt me to input the point layer so in this case it's my random point and then it will prompt me to select which raster layer to sample and in this case it is this ndvi and then still i can save it to memory or i can save it to what my local file so yeah and then after i run so after running i have a new shape file which is called sampled points let me open it then i click on the attribute table as you can see for each point i have an id and an error value this error value is the sampled value in this case which is my ndvi yeah as you can see so i can further go on to export this data as a csv file to do that i just right click export save feature as then i come here and then i select comma separated files and then i select where i'm going to save my data i can change a few parameters here and there and then i say okay Actually, after exporting that file, I can be able to see it. It is here. Here is my CSV file. For each point, I have a what? A value for the NDVI. I hope that is fine. Yeah. So to do a systematic sampling, you just come here to layer, create layer, new shape file layer. And then let me call this shape file samples. Samples. And then it is a point. And then I'll leave it in WGS84. And then I'll say OK. And then you start editing. You click here, toggle editing. And then you add a point feature. Endeavor to add as many point features as you wish so uh, let me just try to add features here this is one let me add as many as i can add let me see and then the next thing is to 
come here and then select this sample raster values then i select the raster layer to sample which is ndvi yeah, and then i can save it to memory yeah i've been able to sample my values systematically and these are the ndvi values as you can see yeah i've created 36 points and i've been able to sample all of them thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time